Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at a pretty big eruption that came off the incoming limb. Two filaments erupted early this morning. We've also got a look at solar wind and geomagnetic conditions, an interesting study following the AMOC collapse, and we'll quickly hit last night's top story if you didn't catch our second video yesterday. Eyes to the left side here. The filaments are beginning to rip away. First one on the south, and then at the end, the northern filament near the coronal hole releases two. We'll watch that first one in 340 or angstroms as well here, significant plasma release. When we view the coronagraphs, we can see how thick that plasma is. We're lucky that was not aimed at Earth because while we have taken some fast CMEs and CME combinations, we have not seen a dense blast like that impact our planet the entire time I've been doing this. Quick note on the solar wind. Plasma speed in purple jumped up yesterday, that is the coronal hole stream. But it was moderate only and it left Earth with only minor geomagnetic disturbances. We did hit level 1 solar storm status yesterday as the amplification occurred, but that is all for now. Actually decreasing back a bit this morning. Interesting study up next suggesting that the collapse of the AMOC will turn large portions of the rainforest into a savanna. This would be the other half of the tipping factor that turns the Sahara green. Sort of has to be like this in the first place, but this is the first paper to actually say so. If you didn't catch last night's video, an update to the magnetic field models were made. Among the key points was their 2030 forecast of Earth's magnetism around the South Atlantic anomaly, which is shifting from the Atlantic to onshore South America and will deepen these next few years while I also think it should be shifting north a bit. If you missed last night's video, check it out. Now we've got two more Observer Ranch events in August here, next one coming on Saturday. Two big ones next month as well. The Observer Meetup August 30th is an event for meeting other like-minded observers for networking and community. Highly recommend the Pole Shift Conferences. Dr. Dunning will be coming to Founders Weekend. October and November are jam-packed and are going to get even busier on the books here in the next few days. In addition to all of this, the documentary release premiere will likely be in November. Finalized details are coming. Book your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.